Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Debbie, and if you are not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Click that button down below and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. So today is Saturday, and I'm actually getting ready to do a couple of things, and I figured I would turn on my camera and film for you guys, like a quick get ready with me. Um, I have been super busy, I haven't had a chance to really film anything and it sucks because that's not how I wanted to start off the new year, but you know what, I figured since I'm getting ready I would do this and I have only a couple minutes because I have to be out um, at least quarter to 11. So right now it is 10 o'clock and um, I just need to get my makeup done. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to prep my skin and I already did moisturize. I did go in with a little bit of the um, Clinique moisturizer and now I'm just gonna go in with my Milk Hydrating Makeup. Uh, I mean, my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is so good, you guys, and honestly, I think um, nothing really compares to this, to be honest. I feel like you definitely get what you pay for in you know with this primer it is so good I know I saw somebody comment um, in one of my videos that why don't I look at the camera I do but I also look at my viewfinder and I want to make sure that everything's in focus because you guys are not going to watch my videos if it's not in focus right so I apologize if I'm constantly looking over here on the side but like I said I don't want to have like a bad quality video um, the other primer I've been using is the no pore of alum primer um, it's the touch in touch and wait what is it touch and soul and I've been using these two and you guys this have like both have been a lifesaver for me and yeah so I did something so stupid you guys and that's also why I haven't filmed um, I mean that's one of the reasons also but I should have just did it it doesn't really I mean it did kind of matter to me um, I ended up getting like a pimple and you know I rarely ever get pimples and I've mentioned that on my channel um, I usually I have pretty good skin and I don't break out but when I break out you know I try to get rid of it super quick and what happened was I broke out I got one because I got my period and you know those freaking pimples that just come in the wrong spots so I had one over here and I put some toothpaste on it because that's all I had I couldn't find my Mario Badescu pink lotion thing because I was cleaning everything um, I'm getting a new dresser so I was just kind of like moving things around and I think I must have dropped that somewhere um, and then I found it but that one time I used the toothpaste don't do it please don't because it'll burn you and that's exactly what happened to me and it got worse than what it was and honestly I should have just left it because usually I don't touch it but I don't know I guess I was like in a picking kind of mood and that's what freaking happened to me so that's why you see like a little dry spot because I kind of irritated it um, but it's really not crazy it's just really annoying so yeah um, now that I got that out of the way because you're probably looking at me like what is that on her face um yeah so I did try this and I like it if you saw my last video I like it but it's really um, something that I would use for a couple of hours but I haven't tried it with this primer and this primer and this is supposed to help your makeup last so we're gonna try that today and see how it goes so this is the Maybelline dream radiant liquid hydrating foundation with hyaluronic acid and collagen I have mine in the shade cashew I found it a little strange that they didn't have like natural beige or sun beige as they normally would I'm using my real technique sponge to blend it in but I was like this is the closest thing I think I'll get and um, I'm just gonna have to blend it down so I just did another pump you guys in case you guys were wondering but I am this is like literally me rushing right now I did one more pump I shouldn't have but it's okay I'm also going to apply that all over the eyes because when I'm like rushing I just put it everywhere And 
and just so you know to conceal this little thing I have on my lip it was a little red so I did go in with this right here from LA girl this is the LA girl pro conceal HD um, concealer in the shade green I applied a little bit of that and then I went on top of it with the LA girl pro conceal in the shade medium beige and it covered it up very nicely I must say so myself so um, yeah it worked and I'm happy I'm just trying to get ready and I'm really hoping because it's a really nice finish on the skin you know um, and you can also um, build it up because I believe it's a medium coverage with it, it is medium coverage it's not super like full coverage but you could definitely build it up which I'm doing right now so I'm grabbing like half a pump again and just applying that right here in these areas but you can also go in with some concealers so don't worry if you aren't getting like the coverage that you want you know but like I said we shall see how oh I have a piece of hair on my face and it's bothered me we shall see um, how this wears since I'm using those the Hy milk hydro grip primer and I'm really curious to see so maybe I'll do like a check-in later I've been wanting to do like a vlog but honestly like that's not part of my channel um, as much as I wanted to because my son also wants to do one with me my little one um, and we just went to a basketball game he was like let's do that and I was like no uh, maybe a different time but um yeah so now I'm going to be grabbing this concealer here. This is the e.l.f. 16 hour concealer in the shade medium sand. And you guys stay tuned for more of my videos. Like click the um, little um, bell down below so you can get notified because you guys, I picked up a lot of new makeup products that I'm super excited to try out and I can't wait to start filming it. I'm grabbing a little bit more of Mar my um, Mario Badescu spray. Not a little more. I just grabbed it and spraying my Real Technique sponge because it's a little dry than what I want, you know, and it's going to just help me blend out my concealer a little better. And boom. I don't feel like getting up to up in the sponge a little more than what I want. I'm gonna apply some here. Just blend, blend, blend. And I know I don't have my brows done yet, so I look crazy. But I'm gonna do them now. So I'm going to finish off with the skin and then I'll do all of that, but um, what else? I'm going to cream contour my face real quick. I guess I'll grab this one here. This is the closest one to me. This is actually this one. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation in the shade Almond. And all I'm going to do is put that right there, put that there, and grab a little bit on my Real Techniques brush just blend that out just like that like that give my face a little bit of definition and not let it look so flat um hmm I grab a little bit more and apply a little bit on the sides of my nose and also you guys look at this big scratch I bought this new cuticle cutter oh my god it's a great cuticle cutter but I put it in my bag because I have like cuticle issues I hate when they're like sticking up and they just bother me so I have that in my cuticle oil but I bought a brand new one and I had it in my bag I literally went in my bag completely forgot it had it I wish it had like a little protector on the tip but it didn't and I literally went in and it went whoosh, and it just like cut me 
it cut me. Revlon, not cool. But um, yeah. Um, put some protectors on the tips. I mean, you guys, like, this shit is like already twenty freaking something dollars. I think you guys can afford to put a little plastic tab on the tip of it. Has that ever happened to you guys? Because, oh my god, it was so bad. I was like, oh, what happened? It's a deep cut. Look at that. It's so bad. And I think it's gonna like scar. But we shall see. Um, now I'm going to, let's see. I'm gonna fill in my brows. How about that? Um, I just had it. Oh, hold on. All right, so I'm gonna grab my BH Studio Pro Ultimate Brow Palette. And I didn't get a chance to look, but the last time I looked, they didn't have these on the site. So I'm probably gonna have to um, see if I can find this somewhere else. I have a backup, but in case you guys wanted to try it, I don't know why they would take that out. But I have to go online and check. So right now I'm just using whatever mixture. I usually mix whatever colors in this palette. And I'm using my ABH brush because this is all I use. I have backups to this like crazy. This is the, it even came off. I think this is the number 12. And this is my favorite, favorite brush. It's the smaller tip. I know she has two. I think it's the number seven, I want to say. And that one, I feel like, mm, I didn't like it too much. I feel like I like the smaller one better. If you have thicker brows, maybe you like that one better, but since my brows are not as thick, I feel like this brush is perfect. And I apologize for the noise in the background. I can't stop traffic, you guys. I'm sorry. How have you guys been? Hopefully good. Hopefully the new year is treating you guys right the way you deserve we all deserve to start off with a good year and end in a good year you know um sorry like when i'm focused on my brows like i really <laughs> stay focused as i'm sure a lot of other people do but yeah so that's all i'm gonna do i just fill them in real quick nothing crazy because uh, i'm just doing a couple of errands and now what I'm gonna do, I'm doing this right here. This, you guys, I never forget this. And if I do, I hate myself because this is the thing that is going to keep my brows in place, you guys. I am not even kidding you. This will keep your brows in place. Well, it has for me and it's worked really well. Um, this is the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. And you guys, I don't know. My brows usually are like, like that if I don't. So I like to brush them up, but not too up so they don't look crazy bushy. But enough where they look defined and you see like the actual brow, you know? And also it's gonna stay in place. Like, honestly, I love this. This is like one of my I have to have products um, for every day. Like that's one thing I need every day. Um, so right now I'm just going to go over my concealer real quick and I just um, filled up more of my little container with my RCMA powder and I'm going to grab, I don't know, let me dry this sponge because I don't want it to be super, super intense and like powdery on my face. So I'm going to dry up the sponge a little bit on a paper towel. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab my sponge and my RCMA powder. And this is going to, I'm not baking, I'm just setting. And this is going to help your makeup, your, you know, your concealer not crease and last as long as possible. I would say all day, but like I said with this foundation, you guys, I don't know. Um, I know I did the, con the foundation first and I did also apply it underneath the eye, but I also applied some concealer on top. So 
Um, usually that concealer I can rely on as well. And yeah. So I have I have high hopes on this, especially since I'm a big fan of this primer here. So I really feel like my makeup's going to last um, a good um, a good amount than it normally did, you know, than before. An eight hour wear, I believe it was. And then it started looking a little off. I have it on my nose and it's bothering me. Okay, so I'm going to grab this right here. This is the Catrice B uh, Blush Box. It's waterproof and sweatproof. It's so good. Um, it's a blush, but I use this as a bronzer. So I top off the cream contour, the cream bronzer, all that. It's really good. It really looks a lot better as a bronzer. You can definitely use it as a blush, but I like it as a bronzer. And there are no rules to makeup, you guys, so use what you got as you want. Um, let's see. Now, um, I guess I'll go in with the same one since I'm really not doing much of anything today. I'm going to use the same bronzer, well, blush. And this one's in the shade bronze, so it works. Um, this is the Sigma Tapered Blending E40, and I'm just going to apply that right here on the crease and use it as like an eyeshadow, obviously. And I'm also going to blend that in in towards my nose, like that. So you want to put it on here on the crease, blend it in, and also bring it literally just drag it a little higher than your eye underneath the brow and just connect it to your nose just like that see that just like that and you can bring it down if you want or you don't have to but I'm good and then this is so simple I want to get those e.l.f. glitter shadow things that came out popped into my head because I want to get the new primers. That's not um, one of the things that I purchased, obviously, but I do have a lot of new makeup that I want to try out, which I have, and I'm really excited for, but I want to try out these, the new e.l.f. putty primers. They have a, an illuminating one, I think, and a mattifying one. I love the original. If I don't use the no poreless primer, I do go in with the e.l.f. one. So I'm kind of excited for that. I just haven't been able to find it. And I haven't had a chance to go to the e.l.f. store. And it's kind of like, I don't want to go to the mall because that's where they have it. But I might have to because I only want those and I don't need to spend $25 because you need to spend $25 to get free shipping, I believe. And I'm not trying to buy $25 worth of makeup. I just want to test out the primers. So, this is what we have going on. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of a highlight. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Gold Bar in the shade Holy Gold Head. Where did they come up with that name? Have no idea. But so pretty. It has a little star. Actually, I'm going to go over that star. I'm using my Morphe M510 brush. Just applying that right there. Nothing crazy, but then again, this highlighter is a tad bit there and intense. So I'm gonna apply a little bit on the Cupid's bow bridge. I mean, I shouldn't have done that. I have a little texture on my nose and I don't like to um, show it too much. Um, now I'm gonna go in with my fave. I ordered so many of these and you guys will see that in another video, but I stocked up on these. These are the NYX Professional Makeup Matte Lip Liner in the shade Soft Spoken. These are definitely like a dupe for the MAC lip liner. So I love MAC, but yo, know, they're crazy expensive. And if I can save money, I'm gonna save money. And I got these on sale at Ulta. So I was like, my, 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 my. 
I need them all. And I'm just using this. as my lip liner and my lipstick. You see that? It's like the perfect color. Okay, there you go. Mm, perfect. Um, I'm also going to do my lashes. I'm not going to apply any um, actual lashes. I'm just going to curl my lashes. And this is the, what is this? These are Tweezer Man um, eyelash curler. I figured if I'm going to use an eyelash curler, I would get a good one. And this has actually been really good. And I'm okay with it and I actually saw like a couple weeks ago that TJ Maxx or Marshalls or both carry that brand so if you see them pick it up because they're crazy expensive for just an eyelash curler I mean you could definitely go in with like a rebel on one which I've definitely have in the past um, but or like those beauty 360s from CVS but um, they're all different. And I feel like this one's just a lot better. And e.l.f. has one too. I think it was like a dollar and then I went up to three or it's always been three. I just somehow got lucky and bought it for a dollar. But that one worked for really well for a little while and then it broke. I lost the little thingies or I don't think that one came with a, like an extra little cushion thing, but yeah um let's see i'm going to apply a little bit of a highlighter in the inner corner of my eye so i'm grabbing this pencil brush from bh and grabbing that same highlighter and applying that on the inner corners there you go and that is that I am going to remove a little bit of this right here because this bothers the crap out of me. I know you're supposed to wait for it to dry, but I'm kind of rushing. I feel like that looks way better. I'm just going to grab my eyelash curler. I know you're not supposed to do this, but I don't care. I want my lashes to be up. I don't have the perfect lashes, but. That's what we gotta work with, you know? You gotta love every little bit of yourself. Ooh, okay, we got something. We got something, I'm gonna add a little bit more mascara here cause it's a little light. There you go, I think we're good to go. Now, I'm gonna go in with this. Okay, so for my makeup to last, this is amazing. I have like none left. I've been using this like crazy, um, but I don't want to use that today because I don't have a little left and I feel like I should save that. But this right here is also one that I've been using with that. And you guys, this is just, I feel like, oops, is just as good as this. Amazing. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Fix and Go 2-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray. Shine control locks in makeup, quick dry and oil free. I promise you, um, it really helps. It really does help. So I'm going to use this and that is that. And the one thing about this, it does smell like hairspray, but I don't mind it. But if you don't like that kind of thing, you probably won't like it. And I'm probably going to apply a little bit more because I feel like my chin's a little dry. And it's very inexpensive. I also have a backup, so that just shows you guys. So I have two. This is like halfway done. And I have a brand new one because I actually really do like it. So I'm not gonna buy two when I don't like something. And 
that is pretty much it you guys I just have to put some earrings on I already set everything this is a super a super a super natural everyday look and I will probably like jump in the video towards the very end just to show you how long my makeup lasts with you know the foundation lasted um, with this primer because I haven't used those together um, just so you guys know or maybe I'll leave it down below for you guys but that yeah, this is it right here if you enjoyed the look please give this video a big thumbs up also please don't forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't yet and I will see you guys on the next one bye